we have already learned what a subject is. So we know that in a sentence we have two parts, the subject and the predicate. And the predicate always contains the verb. Now, a verb in a sentence has certain rules to follow when it is used with a certain subject. So what is it? The primary rule is that a verb must agree with its subject in number and person. Now let us see some examples to understand this. Sally dash going to the beach. Now what will be here in this blank? Should we use is going to the beach or are going to the beach? Now first we need to identify the subject. The subject of this sentence is Sally. Now Sally refers to singular third person. So with this what do we use? We use is. So Sally is going to the beach. Now here we have another friend Fina dash going to the beach. So in the similar manner here Fina is the subject and since it is also singular third person we shall use is in this case as well. Now if our sentence is Sally and Fina dash going to the beach. So what are we going to use here? Shall we use is going to the beach or are? Well, in these two cases, Sally was singular, Fina was singular. But here we have Sally and Fina. So we have two persons and what do we have in the middle? We have the conjunction and joining the two. So this becomes a compound subject where two nouns are there and they are joined by the conjunction and. In this case, the subject becomes plural. So what do we have here? Third person plural number. Now with third person plural number, we use are. So our sentence becomes Sally and Fina are going to the beach. So what is the rule? A compound subject made up of two or more singular nouns or pronouns joined by and takes a plural verb. Now look at this one. Ravi is going to school. I am going to school. So here Ravi is representing singular third person. Therefore we have used is going. And I am going to school. I represents singular first person. Therefore we have used am with it. Now if the sentence is Ravi and I are going to school. Now here Ravi and I makes it a compound subject. Why? Because we have two persons Ravi and I and this is joined by the conjunction and therefore it will take a plural verb. We have learned that a compound subject which is made up of two or more singular nouns or pronouns. Now here Ravi and I. Ravi is a singular noun and I is a singular pronoun. So they are joined by the conjunction and. Hence our verb is going to be plural. So are going to school. Now note one thing very carefully. We know that after I we always use the be verb am but in this case although we have i before the verb the verb which we are going to use is not am but are note it is only because i is a part of the compound subject had it been simply i then it would have been am so whenever you see verbs like are being used after i you will note that i is a part of a compound subject. That means there is something before I which is also forming a part of the subject. The grandmother and the children spend the Sunday afternoon together. So what is the subject in this case? The grandmother and the children. So this is once again a compound subject and what is this compound subject made up of? It is made up of the noun, the grandmother and 
the noun children so both these nouns are joined together by the conjunction and so this is a compound subject hence the verb that we are going to use after it will be plural so spend is a plural verb in this case so the grandmother and the children spend the sunday afternoon together now if we had written it as the children and the grandmother spend the sunday afternoon together it would have meant the same so what do you see in this case this spend is a plural verb not because children is a plural noun but because this entire subject is a compound subject hence it is considered as a plural subject in this case we have grandmother just before the verb but we have still used the plural form of the verb spend this is because this verb spend is not related to grandmother only but it is related to the children as well so the children and the grandmother this whole thing together forms the subject of the sentence and it is a compound subject hence we take a plural verb both raj and ravi dash week in english now what will be the verb in this case will it be is or are well in this case you note we have used the word both now both implies that we are talking about two persons and who are the two persons in this case raj and ravi also we remember that when two nouns are joined together with the conjunction and in the subject it becomes a compound subject hence in this case as well we have a compound subject so the verb will be are hence the answer is both raj and ravi are weak in english now fill in the blank with the correct verb dhruv kiran and i dash playing football in the evening the options are was and were well what do we see here we have dhruv kiran and i so the subject consists of three parts dhruv kiran and the pronoun i so all these three people are forming the part of the subject and we have this conjunction and joining the three hence this is another example of a compound subject which is made up of two nouns and a pronoun hence it is also a plural subject so the verb will also be plural now from the options this one is the plural one hence the correct answer will be dhruv kiran and i were playing football in the evening now here don't get confused just because we have i before the verb we are not going to use was rather the subject would be considered as this entire part rice and chicken curry dash kept in separate bowls well in this case we see in this bowl we have rice and in another bowl we have chicken curry now what will be the verb shall we use is or are well we are talking about two different dishes one is the rice and the other is the chicken curry and we have said that they are kept in separate bowls so we have two nouns joined by the conjunction and hence it is forming a compound subject so our answer will be are so rice and chicken curry are kept in separate bowls so rice and chicken curry are kept in separate bowls now let us look at another example what if we say rice and chicken curry dash my favorite dish what will be used in this case shall we use is or are well in this case there is something interesting happening rice and chicken curry here 
are not treated as two different dishes rather they are together considered as a complete meal so rice and chicken curry dash my favorite dish so in this case we are not going to use r here this entire thing will be treated as a singular idea or a singular unit hence we are going to use a singular verb with this so what do we see rice and chicken curry is my favorite dish so why is it so because a compound subject that is treated as a single unit is followed by a singular verb so here it is a compound subject no doubt we have rice one noun chicken curry another noun and both of them are joined by the conjunction and but here this compound subject is treated as a single unit so this is my favorite dish so i'm talking about one particular dish which is my favorite and what is it rice and chicken curry taken together so this is acting as a single unit henceforth our verb is also singular the poet and musician dash our guest now what do we see in the subject poet and musician we have two nouns joined by the conjunction and therefore it is also a compound subject but here the compound subject is actually referring to one particular person so the one who is a poet is also the musician so the poet and musician are not two different persons but the same person hence it is a compound subject which is being treated as a single unit or they are referring to only one person hence we are going to use a singular verb so we are going to say the poet and musician is our guest the poet and musician is our guest now note one thing important we have used the word guest here so this must have been a clue for you now look at this one the poet and the musician dash our guests so are we going to use is or are well in this case note the poet and the musician here it was the poet and musician but here we have this the which was not present in this case so here the poet and the musician are not referring to the same person so the poet is one person and the musician is another person therefore this compound subject is not treated as a single unit so it is going to take a plural verb so it will be are our guests the poet and the musician are our guests now we will note something interesting here so in this case we see that there is the article only once and after that poet and musician followed there's no article before the second noun whereas in this case we have the article before both the nouns so when we use the article once and it is followed by two nouns we refer to the same person therefore in this case the verb used will be singular whereas if we use the before both the nouns then we are going to refer to two persons hence in those cases we are going to have a plural verb also for your hint you could have noticed that here we have guest and here we have guests so here it already gives us the sense that we are referring to only one guest whereas here we have two guests so the poet and the musician are the two different guests that are being talked of here the famous musician poet and songwriter gulzar dash arrived so what will be our answer shall we say has or have well the famous musician poet and songwriter now in this case we have used the article once and we have not used article before any other nouns also you see that we are referring to only one person so gulzar is the famous musician 
he is the poet and he is the songwriter this compound subject is actually referring to a single person hence we are going to use has arrived so the correct answer is the famous musician poet and songwriter gulzar has arrived so here too the compound subject that refers to the same person or thing or suggests one idea is followed by a singular verb so whenever we come across compound subjects we need to be very careful in order to understand whether it is referring to a single unit or not accordingly we are going to use a singular verb or a plural verb fill in the blank with the correct verb now here bread and butter dash my regular breakfast and what are the options given to us r is so bread and butter is the subject in this case and dash my regular breakfast so we see that this is a compound subject we have bread one noun butter another noun joined by the conjunction and but is it referring to one unit yes this is a complete breakfast now bread and butter is considered together as a single unit so it's not just bread for my breakfast or butter bread and butter are taken together and hence they are considered as a single unit so this compound subject is referring to only a single unit hence we are going to use is so here r is not the correct answer so bread and butter is my regular breakfast so what did we learn today we learned that a subject and a verb must agree with each other in number and in person and if the subject is a compound subject then it can take either a singular verb or a plural verb well that depends on whether the compound subject that we are talking of is taken as a single unit or not in case we have a compound subject that refers to a single person or a single thing or suggests a single idea then in those cases we use a singular verb otherwise with any other compound subjects we use a plural verb we shall soon learn about the other rules of subject verb agreement don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now